How's it going everybody? Austin Carter here with the Tech Line Leather. Welcome to another Tool on Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by on my channel. Today I'm going to teach you all how I do cross hatches. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a little wallet for my nephew and so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you exactly um, how I go about doing that. Hope you all stick around and enjoy the video. Helpful tools you'll need for this project are a swivel knife, stylus, calipers, and different sizes of rulers. Here I have printed out the dimension lines I want to have for the front and back of the wallet. With my stylus, I mark the corners of the inside boxes. This will help me line up my calipers later. I then use my calipers to describe my border lines. Make sure you don't scratch the leather when doing this. With a ruler and stylus, I finish marking the center lines. For some reason, my camera didn't record my marking the first side of the cross hatches, but as you can see, I take my ruler and mark a line from one corner to the other and then mark a line on the opposite side of my ruler. I then just follow my lines on either side of the ruler until I reach the border. I then flip the ruler to mark a line from the opposite corners and proceed with the same steps as described previously. I find that this angle yields a nice diamond pattern crosshatch. On the front, I use my calipers to etch another line. I'm going to be adding a decorative border to this wallet, so this step is optional. I then repeat the crosshatch lines on the front of the wallet, making sure not to go past any of my border lines. After marking all my lines, I case the leather with water and begin cutting with my swivel knife. If you are new to using a swivel knife, using a ruler to guide your knife will greatly help you create nice straight lines. What helps me cut straight lines is if I focus on the back part of the swivel knife blade that isn't cutting into the leather, making sure I keep it straight and true to my scribe line as I cut. After all the cuts are made, I tape the back of my leather with painter's tape. This aids in keeping down the stretching of leather while you tool. I then use the large beveler to bevel all my border lines. Using a cedar stamp, I stamp where each line intersects. This is optional, but gives the crosshatch a really cool look.
There are a ton of ways to incorporate crosshatch patterns into your work. It's a great way to fill up sections of empty space or be the main focal point of your project. I hope this tool in Tuesday's segment gave you some inspiration. And until the next video, y'all have a great day.